What's going on everyone? And Cap24 here from playbook.gg. In today's video, we're going to talk about cover four palms and how we can conceptually attack it out of any playbook in Madden 20. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you want to win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. All right, guys, so the playbook I'm working out of today is the West Coast playbook. We just dropped the game plan for the Golden Glover 45. Had a really successful um, Madden MCS series where he uh, was the winner's bracket for the LCQ. Uh, Pavan uh, ended up beating him and going to the Madden Bowl, but he had a lot of success with his gun bunch, and we brought that to the website. Today I want to show you basically a play or a concept that we put into that game plan that helps you attack cover four palms. Okay, so cover four palms is a matching um defense right it's something that a lot of people will do when they are um kind of stuck on what to call when somebody is dotting them up especially against bunch what i want to do in today's video is show you a conceptual um way of attacking it no matter what playbook you're in um just knowing this rule set is going to help you okay so what you're going to see here is we got the deep corner play all i'm going to do is block my running back and I'm just going to call cover four palms versus it, okay? What you're going to see is it's going to look just like every other cover four. You can't tell if it's drop, quarters, or palms by the play art, but it is palms. And you're going to see here that they're going to match. You're going to see here that RB is going to get blanketed, right? A lot of people will run this because of the way that um, they kind of do the work for you when it comes to calling zones. As long as you go against um, a traditional bunch, it does a really good job. Now we're going to do the same exact route combination. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to take our running back and we're going to block him on the right side of the quarterback. If you look on the right side of the field, I've got four threats. Redley, Gage, Hooper, and Freeman on the right side of the quarterback and only one on the left. What that does is it shuts off palms. So what you're going to see here is you're going to look at RB where he was blanketed before. Now he's got an easy corner route to the outside. Okay. Now this works in a lot of different formations that you could find in any playbook in Madden 20. My favorite playbook in, uh, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I did a huge series on it with gun doubles. I'm going to show you what to do in gun doubles and which I like just kind of show you exactly how to make this work. Now I'm going to just do some uh, spot smash. Okay. I'll call cover four palms and I'm going to go ahead and show you basically how this is going to make it pretty easy for you. Okay. So here's cover four palms. I'm going to motion this receiver over. The reason why I like gun double so much is it's got the tight end and the running back on the same side, okay? So if I'm able to, to motion the Y over, now I've got four threats on the right side and only one on the left. So if I do something like this where I do a crisscross action or I can put the uh, B on a streak, the Y on an out, it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing a flood concept just to make sure that I've got the ability to um, basically attack to the right side of the field. What you're going to see is that the A is going to get open and he's just going to basically get underneath everything for the easy catch. Now, it's not just flood concepts that work. Now, I want to kind of teach you something about palms that you may not know. Palms is basically only found in nickel defenses, okay? What does that mean? Typically, when you're against a nickel defense, you're going to have a linebacker in one of the quarters and then a cornerback in the other corner. It may be different if you're in nickel over G, if people are doing different types of um, personnel groupings, but for the most part, the positioning of them, one's gonna be in the linebacker position, one's gonna be in the, um, the uh, nickel corner, okay? So when you see that, you wanna attack on the linebacker side with this, okay? So let me show you a different route combination I like. And this is going to be with deep outs, right? So I'm going to call uh, gun doubles. And if you have something like this, you want to attack with it. You can always smart route it, but see this deep outs play? I'm going to show you here with first, we'll start off with, um, you know what I'm going to do? And yeah, we'll start off with two, four, five. And then we'll show you how to bickle over G, just so you understand what I'm talking about, okay? So here's cover four palms. What you're going to see is that I got the nickel corner on the left and I've got the um, linebacker on the right. All I'm going to do is motion this guy over. So what that's going to basically do is move my B in. I'll put the Y on a streak and I'm just going to leave it like this. And what you're going to notice is that 
if you look at the quarter flat, the quarter flat's got to go all the way to the sidelines. That's not a good thing for them, right? All you're going to do is you're going to wait for the B to go to the outside, throw it to him, nobody matches, and you get yourself an easy 12 to 15 yard outplay, okay? Now, what if this play was flipped, okay? What you're going to see is that you've got the nickel corner on the right, right? So if I do something like this where it's flipped and they're, you're showing it that it's on the right side, you don't want to attack that player because of what it is. Just flip your play, put the Y on a streak, motion them to the left. So all you're doing is you're going after the, um, the linebacker side, right? You're going to see that they're not going to match. You're throwing this ball out and you got an easy catch, okay? Now, big nickel over G is kind of one of the weird ones that a lot of people use. And I'm going to show you that here. And it's the same preface, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to look at their defense. So let's go ahead and call palms. I'll go ahead and do gun doubles just so you can see the out um, type of scenario that I'm looking for. We'll go to deep outs. And again, this play is in the West Coast playbook. And I'm going to look at this defense and say, okay, which one is the linebacker? Which one's the safety, right? That's the safety. That's the linebacker. If they want to be in alignment like this, I'm going to run on them all day, right? I'm going to run inside zone, and they're basically leaving the box open for, you know, easy opportunities to get some yards, right? So they have to, 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 to protect themselves. They've got a baseline, right? They got to get that second person in the box in order to make sure that they have the ability to stop the run, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the left side knowing that is the player that the side in which we have the thing we're going to flip the place so that way we have the ability to motion somebody over and even though we we would want to go to the wide side with this because it's an easier um you know read and throw because the guy comes in just go ahead and look there the guy's going to get over there and you're going to have an easy catch on the sidelines so what i'm trying to teach you here is know that palms there's a weakness in palms when it comes to making sure you got four threats on one side of the field. And there's a weakness in attacking the linebacker that has the quarter flat to basically do your advantage. So what you would ultimately want is if they were to flip this play, right? And they're matching cornerback or linebacker on slot receiver. This is the best case scenario is because look how far that quarter flat has to come. So if we know that we have that ability to do it or if they're running their, their defense this way you're going to motion this guy over and even when you see this you're going to see that they have to go all the way to the sidelines right all the way to the sidelines and you're going to be easily taken from them okay so this is just a principle i want to teach you attack the quarter flat from the linebacker position hopefully to the wide side of the field if you can get them to um you know basically play um their defense to the strength of the slot corner or what you want to do is basically make sure that you flip the play and attack the quarter to the short side of the field once he is base aligned simple concepts simple way of doing it go ahead and check out golden glover's uh bunch today um he has that you know he has a, a cover four palms bomb that he uses in there that absolutely gets you easy touchdowns uh, I didn't want to show that on YouTube because that is something that he specializes in. I wanted to kind of show you more concept base that you guys can use this for any playbook. Um, just know that you go ahead and look for formations in which you can motion a player to get four threats on one side of the quarterback and attack accordingly. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.